All right, so in this video, I'm going to briefly give you an introduction of the uh, Siemens Network Command Center, or NCC for short, for use with the MXL and XLS, excuse me, XLS panels. Um, you can have, for those who aren't familiar with fire alarm networks, you can have numerous fire alarm panels connected together uh, on panels that may be in different buildings on one campus or maybe several panels in one large building and when they are networked together we call that we call those individual panels nodes they control their own devices but then they ultimately report back to one big network and um, the network can basically take control of everything and it can uh, do all kinds of different stuff basically monitors all the panels together so on this network um, this is in my office and you could see down here at the bottom uh, we have these little tabs some are in green some are in yellow uh, these indicate all of our nodes on the system as well as the workstations you know like this computer right here we have another one down in the basement um, but we have about five nodes on this system all together uh, this we have panel a protects that is the fire alarm panel that protects the um, the basement of the main hospital as well as the first floor panel b protects um, floors i believe it is uh, <laughs> Um, one through five on the main hospital a lot of floors and a lot of different stuff to remember here so um, I may not be entirely accurate but I know it does take care of several floors in the main hospital you have panel C which takes care of most of the floors over in what we call our outpatient center as well as the very top floor of the um, main hospital as well. You have this panel here um, that takes care of one of our buildings. It's called the Cancer Pavilion. Then you have this right here, which is the panel for uh, our cancer center. Those are the five panels. These others are uh, basically just workstations. And uh, this one was an older node that is no longer in service. So it's no longer part of the network. Uh, most of these are lit up in green, but uh, you can see we have the Cancer Pavilion that is lit up in yellow. And uh, we also have this workstation showing up in yellow as well. The reason for that is because we've got a couple of troubles. You see this node not responding. It's actually talking about this computer right here and uh, uh, do we really don't know why that is because this computer works absolutely fine. We have no problems with it uh, I think it'll go away in time But uh, we also do have one device that is disarmed in the cancer pavilion That's why that's showing up in yellow here on the second floor smoke detector above the ceiling in room 242 and Basically, this is real nice whenever there is an alarm a trouble a supervisory that shows up on any one of these panels that we have on our campus it will show up here and you know sometimes if you got a lot of stuff going on it'll take up this whole screen it'll be one big list uh, but you can see we do have like I said this uh, trouble here disabled trouble here for the cancer pavilion shows you here and sometimes this is you don't see this on law systems but you can um, enter a, a comment in there but uh, most people really don't mess with that and uh, you can actually even choose to enable or disable the um, device and right now we've actually got we've got it disabled because of some construction going on in the area I'll show you a couple other features real quick uh, you have this, all these buttons over here on the right side of the screen, acknowledge, silence, and reset. It's just like a regular fire alarm panel. Um, when you have an alarm come in on any one of these nodes that is connected to the system, 
it shows up right here on the screen. Same with supervisory, obviously troubles. And uh, we can go here to acknowledge it here. We can hit the silence button. We can reset. Uh, this could, it's like a scroll feature if the list was that big. Or basically, um, it just highlights the next device on the list when I click it. Log on, that's what we use when we want to get real technical and start looking at things. And it really enables a lot of these features in these next menus here. So you can see if I click on the user feature, I, this is where my bypass options appear. I can bypass and the horn strobes, doors. If you click on, we have several different menus on here. And I'll just click on several to show you that these, a lot of these aren't programmed. But I can do different things in different buildings, disarm strobes, disarm, excuse me, disarm strobes and uh, chime strobes. I can um, do the doors, there are a multitude of different things. We use this very frequently when we are testing. We have the more option here. This gives us, uh, this is really getting into the technical side of things, setup device, history. Um, we can look up the history of the devices. This is going to be reserved a lot for the more experienced technicians who are making programming changes and whatnot. We spend a lot of time, though, over here if I click the show button, and there's a bunch of different things we can do here and, and take a look at. Alarms, supervisory, security, trouble conditions. If I click on those tabs, it will basically just give me an individual list of the actual alarms or the individual list of of the actual troubles and and you get the idea that's if we've got a lot going on and the screen is just cluttered with stuff we can kind of get an itemized list of what's doing what what devices are causing this problem or that problem whatnot here we can uh one thing that's very common is we like to monitor the sensitivity of our smoke and duct detectors. I can click that. And basically how this works is I look up, I can select my node and then I'm going to select the module. This is, module is another work term for loop. So I'm on node, I'm in the uh, uh, medical center, in MX, it's an MXL panel and it's panel C. And I'm going to look at loop two. So bear with me here. That's an ALD loop. You remember on one of my other videos, we talked about the XLD and the ALD cards. So this is a newer MXL card uh, that is we're looking at. So we're gonna look at loop number two. And it takes a while, it takes a few seconds at least for this to process. While that's doing that, you can see, again, we can look at device type, we can look at uh, the types of loops, whether they are XLD cards or MX or ALD cards, we can distinguish that on the module types. Okay, so how this look, works is we're on loop two, and you see here, I apologize for the shaking, number 10, and then it goes number 20. So how this works is you would have device number 10, but then you look at these numbers here at top, one, two, three, four, five, six, so device number 10, and then it, what that is indicating, number one, this is device number 11, and then 12, and then 13, and then four, and you get the idea. And what we're seeing there is the sensitivities for each device on that loop. So then it goes to 20, and then it would be 21 going across, 22, and at the very top, obviously, it's just going to be on loop two and device number one. So device number one, 2.500, and then 2.500 again, device number two. So um, it, it's a little different to interpret this when you're not accustomed to it. Uh, you see the ND, what that basically means is that there's either no device assigned to that point or it's a pole station or um, a kitchen hood monitoring device, water flow, whatever. So click done here. Another thing here, we'll look at device types. We want to see 
basically get a list of all the devices. We can do this basically loop by loop and it will tell us, so loop two, in the same panel, panel C, loop two, we get a list of all the different devices that we have. Photo uh, thermal detectors tells us what type of detector it is, FP11, which is the newer MXL detectors. We've still got an ID60, which is one of the older ionization detectors. And I can scroll through that as well. Got a pull station down there. I can go do this loop by loop for each panel. So let's just change it up a bit. So let's say I want to go to the, the cancer center. Let's just do up a little bit, loop nine. And then again, see, I get more detectors, pole station, dual switch inputs, likely sprinkler devices. Tells me the type address here, what the functionality is, and whatnot. So, just wanted to show you a little bit about our network system and kind of give you an idea of how fire alarm networks work. Again, this network monitors the five different panels. We call them all nodes. I apologize uh, for the shaking in the video, but uh, um, hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to doing more. Thank you.